Congratulations, you've just purchased yourself a brand new Stern Pinball Machine from Pinball Heaven and you're about to have a lot of fun. But before you can start playing, there's going to be a few things that you need to do. The first one is to actually put pinballs inside the machine because for transportation reasons, they're not inside the game. Now, what you're going to need to do to do that, firstly, is take the glass off, which means you're going to have to open this door. We call it the coin door just there. Now, with your game, you'll have got a set of keys. Now, there are two different keys that come with every pinball machine. Uh, there's one for this lock just here. Don't worry about that now. We'll deal with that in a separate video. That opens this back box here. The other one opens this coin door just here. So you pop that in there and you open the coin door. When you do that, you'll hear the beep, 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 beep. That's going to disengage the power. I would suggest when you do this, the machine is not powered on. Make sure it's switched off at the wall. The only reason I've got it switched on at the moment is so it looks pretty, but I could switch it off there, switch it off at the wall, and the machine will be powered down. Right, what we need to do now is we need to get this thing off. It's called the lock bar, and we're gonna do that by reaching inside the cabinet because just here, under here, and on this side, there are two latches which we are going to loosen. So I'll show you how to do it now. One of them, like so. The other one, I'll just go into here. Now I know where they are because I've done this many, many times. What it allows you to do is take this off just here. Put that somewhere safe. This can get damaged. Put it somewhere soft. Now, having put the lock bar somewhere safe because we don't want it to get chipped, we're going to need to remove this glass. The first thing you're going to need to do is shut this coin door again. Lock it so it doesn't open. Now, what I like to do when I'm doing this is I use some, some white gloves. Purely and simply, it stops fingerprints getting on the glass. It's sod's law. By the time you've done this and you put the glass back on, you'll notice that the underside of the play field, the glass, We'll have fingerprints on it. You have to take it off again to give it a polish. So what you're going to do is put your hands on top of the glass and you're just going to slide it down like so. Be very, very careful. Be very gentle with it. It's tougher than glass, but we don't really want to put that name to the test. So I'm just being careful as we get to the end. Pull it out, make sure I've got a good grip on it. And we're going to take the glass and I've already prepared the area here because I know it's down on carpet. So the bottom of it is going on a carpet. Never put it down on a hard floor because it will shatter. So on the floor, it's resting on a very, very soft surface. And just here, it's actually resting on some acoustic foam. It's basically resting on sponge. And there you have it. Now the play field is exposed, which is going to allow us to put the balls into it. Now what you'll see here is along this section there, it will say install six balls. Not every pinball machine takes six balls, although it has to be said that most modern sterns do. So what we're actually going to do now is we're gonna open up the coin door, which will actually reveal what we call the coin box inside. We're gonna take that coin box out by removing, there's a clip which holds it in position. Again, it's for transportation. We're gonna remove the clip Put it somewhere safe. I've actually got a magnetic tray just there so as I don't lose any of my parts. We'll lift it up very carefully and then take the coin box out because inside this coin box, there are a number of things. You've got some spare plastic parts for these slingshots here. You've got a number of, of spare parts which you'll see. You've got some decals, some spare decals, some spare rubbers. There's a number of things in there, but most importantly inside are your pinballs, which you're gonna drop inside the pinball machine. And I, when I say drop, I don't mean from a great height, you just drop them, place them on the play field, so they're gonna roll down into the trough. With the balls in now inside the game, what we're going to do is going to put the glass back on. So we're going to close this coin door. We're going to take the glass, and with a lot of these stern games, just in case you've placed it down, you can't remember which side is which, you'll see just on this section of the glass, there'll be a little sticker. Just make sure the sticker is facing towards you. It, this one says made in the USA, which of course Stern are a US-based company. Now this is very, very, you've got to be very careful here. Place this 
into the groove. Now there are little tracks alongside each side of the play field. You've got to make sure that there's no bend, there's no flex in the glass. Don't force it. It should just slide in there really easily. Support the glass at both ends. Be careful here. Don't trap your fingers in there and be very careful of the edges on this glass. It's not just about fingerprints that you don't want to get. You don't want to cut your fingers on the edge of the glass. Now, it has, it has been rounded off ever so slightly, but it's glass. It's always wise to be careful. The glass is now back on top of the play field. I will then remember this, get that lock bar. I'm gonna open the door again. I'm gonna place the lock bar back on top. Make sure the glass is pushed all the way on top and you will feel it will just slot into position. Remember the two clips, they're now gonna be fastened up. Lock that coin door, and there you go. There you have, your glass is back in place, the balls are inside the game, and as long as you're ready to power up, and we've done every other procedure, you're ready to start playing pinball.